بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ نے مفلا دموس مرسیفل دموس گریشیس اللہ نے زیاہ لیا یا کریم تو دیز آور تھرڈ لیکچر دی چپٹر نیم ایز دی برڈ اینڈ دی ایلیفنٹ فرسٹ آف آل آئی ڈیفائن دی مین کونسل آف دی پویم دی مین تیم آف دی سٹوری ایز دیٹ وی شوڈ بی سٹرونگ وی شوڈ نوٹ کنسیڈر آور سیلف سٹرونگ while the others is weaker or helpless. Care for everyone whether he is weak or strong. Now after that I am explaining the uh, text of the poem in front of you. But here first of all I am clarifying one thing in front of you. This summary in front of you is in difficult words but I will explain to you in simple words in this lecture so let's start now basically this poem is belong to uh, uh, one bird and one an animal there are four birds a mother and three chicks The elephant felt hot because he had walked a long way. Little birds were frightened because the tree was shaking. After that, when the mother flew into one of the elephant's ear, she tickled it with her feet. Then elephant stopped dead in his tracks after that the bird left the elephant ear when elephant begged the bird to leave him alone and in return he promised that he would never again stretch his back against her tree now after that there are many animals at home There is also one baby elephant. This elephant circles around the bird every day to be friends with it. However, uh, however the bird is very hostile and cares least about others. Feelings and reaction. She kicked backward so forcibly that he that the baby elephant limped for a week or so. It was clear indication for the elephant that she is not looking for friends. After a few more days, the baby elephant goes once again to her. She lifts her on leg in preparation of kicking but before that can happen the elephant it strung holds the other leg of the bird the bird tumbles down miserably seeing her defeat she gets up as nothing has happened and walks away calmly those who were watching laugh out loudly in the last i conclude the explaining of the text after some months the baby elephant grows to size of a bull it is then transferred to the zoo and the bird continue, continues to live there now after that here we have a grammar topic that we read already in the class come on i am doing it for you again the topic name is name is the use of is r m or was these words is m r and was or are all be verb variations they are classified as primary auxiliary verbs which means they could function as a main verb or 
as auxiliary supporting verb in a sentence. For example, Jerem Jerem is my favorite author. Here is 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 the main verb here. John is writing a leave letter now. Again, is is the auxiliary verb. I am writing a letter. Am is the main verb here. I am answering your question right now. Again, am is the auxiliary verb here. Books are our best friends. Are is the main verb. They are modeling us into better individuals. Are is the auxiliary verb again. After that, use according to tense means means the use of is or am according to tense is used in present tense with third person singular subject like he is it am used in present tense with first person subject means i are used in present tense with plural subjects means we you they was used in past tense with singular subject i he she it he she can be a name of the person it can be replaced by object this is our today's lecture and maybe and hope so you are understanding for all this for the next lecture allah hafiz